Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new make sure that you subscribe for more videos like this one Today's video I'm going to show you how to make your own rose oil at home super easy So what you're going to need is of course rose petals I love red roses so I'm going to choose red rose petals You can choose whatever color that you want to You're going to need a carrier oil The one I have here is um, coconut oil melted but you can also use um, grapeseed oil, almond oil, and you're going to need a bottle. So I'm just using an old foundation bottle that I cleaned out. So you're going to start off by boiling your water. Bring your water to a boil and then while it's coming to a boil, you want to add your rose petals into your bowl of oil. Now the more that you add, the stronger the oil will be. So Turn your heat off once your water has been boiled and then put your little bowl into your pot. And then you want to let that sit there for a couple of hours until it cools down. So I let mine sit overnight usually. Um, and then I just cover this pot um, with a lid so that everything is just contained. And this one I'm just showing you what it looks like a few hours later so you see, can see that the petals are losing its color and the fragrance is coming out of them and then I'm gonna strain it and put it into a cup now I'm going to press down on the petals just to release all the oils and this is optional you can strain it if you want to you don't have to you could keep the rose petals in there if you want and that's it that's how you make your rose oil at home I love this oil on my face because it's a very soothing oil and it's an anti-aging oil it's great for dry skin um, and then what I like to do is I like to keep it in a little bottle so this is an old foundation bottle that I just cleaned out and I'm just going to put the oil in there and you can see the little bubbles and this is optional as well I like to shred some rose petals and then stick that in there just because not only does it look pretty but over time it also releases its fragrances into the oil and makes it even more stronger so the longer that you keep this oil the stronger that the scent gets um, and then you can use this on your face and you can use it on your hair it's it's great for acne it's great to make your hair stronger it's really good aromatherapy I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you're subscribed so that you are updated every time I upload new videos which I do upload twice a week and I will talk to you guys in my next video Bye.